Hi there, I'm Carl from Polygonic and this is an introduction to RenderSet and its basic usage. Here we have a small, neatly organized scene. The only thing left is to render the output. Let's do it first without RenderSet. I will change the focal line and turn on Passport Out in the Camera Properties tab. Then go to Render Properties to set Cycles as my render engine, adjust the number of samples and choose the noiser. In the Output Properties tab, I will set the resolution of my render. Then I look at the View Layers Properties and enable Passes that will help me in the post-production process. Finally, let's choose an HDRI to light up the scene. This one looks ok, maybe I will change the exposure. And now, don't forget to save the file and hit F12 for render. Let's check what we got here. All the different passes. Unfortunately, Blender doesn't save these files automatically, so I'm going to save them one after another. I hope I won't forget any important ones. Default Blender can't render in a queue, so after this is finished, I will repeat the process with the next scene that I need for my client. Can you imagine, I used to set alarms for 2 a.m. just to switch between renders. Those were good old times. Ok, let's say it's done. You send the final pictures to your client. Looking something like this. Great is the reaction, but what if it looked like this? And we need some changes to the other scenes as well. Yes, that's ok, except I've lost some of my previous settings and have to remember them now. That's not a big issue in this case, but can become a huge obstacle in this one. A model of an entire city block with dozens of collections, thousands of objects and many cameras. Various versions of each render are needed. That's why we created RenderSet, so let's install it and see what it can do. Go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, hit Install, locate your RenderSet zip file, hit Install again and enable the add-on. A new polygonic tab with the RenderSet in it should appear on your side panel. All the important settings mentioned earlier in this video were brought here together so you can reach them easily. And what's more, you can create so-called render contexts. In those contexts, you can make different adjustments for each render. For example, in this scene, I made many contexts using the same camera, just changing collection visibility. But I can also add contexts for another cameras and take a look inside one of those cabins. Variations of the same interior are done easily. Or if I want to render this exterior with different light and no trees, I just add a new context. It has the same settings as the previously selected one, so I just change the world and disable Botonic for rendering. If I decided now I want them to have the same settings again, I would use this Copy Properties button. Very useful is also this button that creates a context for each selected camera placed in your scene. Let's look at the rendering now. I can press Render Current to render only the selected context or Render All to render all checked contexts. RenderSet will save and organize the files into folders on location that was specified in the add-on preferences. That's all for introduction. You will get this showcase scene I use today for free if you buy RenderSet. In the next video we will look closely on RenderSet properties such as setting output folder path and more. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.